Coco Ross, Community, Collaborative, Rain, Hail, and Snow Network. If you don't know already, Coco Ross is a grassroots volunteer network made up of people of all ages who measure and map precipitation, be it rain, hail, or snow. It was started in 1998 in no small part because of the efforts of this guy, Nolan Duskin. You see, the previous year, on the night of July 28th, in the town of Fort Collins, Colorado, it started raining. And raining. And raining. And raining and raining and raining. The result was an epic flood that caused over $200 million worth of damage. At the time, Nolan was 20 years on the job as a climatologist. And what did he find when he went to check on his personal rain gauge in his backyard? He found that his gauge was broken. Now a lesser man would have gotten upset. <laughs> Nolan Smash! Nolan Smash! Nolan Smash! You know, I don't think I felt that bad. Instead of getting angry, Nolan set out to answer some questions about this storm. You see, nothing in the radar indicated that the storm would have caused so much damage. So Nolan and his team started immediately on a hunt to gather as much data they could about the precipitation that fell during the storm. For over three months, the group worked tirelessly to compile all the information they could through eyewitness accounts, backyard rainfall gauges, big and small, even open buckets and trash cans that had been sitting out during the storm. Once they sorted through all the data, they built an approximation of how much rain fell and where, and this is what they found. The saying, rain doesn't fall the same on all, is an understatement to say the least. Some places got only two inches of rainfall, whereas other concentrated areas had over seven times as much. In fact, the hardest hit areas came just a half an inch shy of the average yearly rainfall for the city. All in one storm. And those saturated areas were the worst possible places to be hit for extreme flood conditions. Not only that, but from the data that they gathered, you can see that precipitation can vary by inches, even from just blocks away. And where you can see just amazingly how much it varies from point to point. When Nolan and his colleagues presented their report, it generated a lot of interest for that kind of cohesive data. And then the public's response was, wow, is there anything we can do to help? So with the help of three paid student interns from three adjacent high schools, a computer programmer, a website designer, and a community outreach specialist, Coco Ross was born. Actual Coco Ross looks nothing like this. What started off as a small community precipitation measuring experiment has now grown nationwide to all 50 states. Here's how it works. Using low-cost measuring tools and putting a focus on education and training, people across a nation just like you observe weather conditions and map and measure precipitation. Then, that information gets logged into the Kokoros Interactive website, which shows how much precipitation fell and exactly where it hit. This information then gets used by the National Weather Service, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, local meteorologists, emergency managers, local municipalities, farmers, event planners, the Weather Channel, airports, mosquito control, professional sports teams, and amateur weather observers, just to name a few. The information that you provide can give early warnings of potentially hazardous storms in your community. Not only will it raise your awareness and connect you to the environment you live in, but you could also potentially save lives in your community. Besides the cost of a few supplies, it's free and easy to join. So check on our website to find a training session near you, or learn yourself through the many informative slideshows available on the site. It's cheap, it's easy, and it's fun. We need your help, so come and join us, and soon you'll be just like us. Cuckoo for Cocoross! <laughs>